Okay, welcome to this PHP Basics tutorial. Um, in this video, we're going to talk fairly briefly about logic. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like with most other languages, PHP has an if syntax. Um, for example, you can check a condition. 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 Um, and then you can execute this block of code here only if th that condition is true. So if whatever's in these brackets comes out as true, that this code will be executed. Um, I'll just quickly say this logic.php file is the only file we'll be working with. I've just got to open uh, my well, I've got it in my folder here um, and open it in my browser here. Obviously um, we haven't defined the constant condition so that's why that comes up. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the introduction. So let's get started. Uh, for example, let's just do some examples. You can check if 1 is equal to 2, like so, um, which will obviously not, um, it's not, that isn't true, so we don't get this test output. We just get nothing. Um, but if I were to also check if 2 is equal to 2, um, this double vertical bar, vertical line, um, is the OR operator. Um, so basically uh, this code will be executed if this or this is true. So if I just run this, you see we get the output. Um, there's also an AND operator um, which will check both of these and execute this if they are both true. So we don't get any output. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the basics. There are also um, AND operators, like you could do this and same thing happens. Um, they, are, they, don't, they don't have exactly the same meaning. Um, they have a lower uh, precedence than the oops, than those versions. Um, basically, what it, okay, let's demonstrate that. Um, say if you had the variable var is equal to true oops, or false and then you dump this to the screen using that syntax. If you just reload this, you see we get true because, well that's how that works. Um, but if we were to use or here, just remove the bracket essentially, if we were to use or there, so we still get true, but if we were to reverse these, false, true, so reload, we get false, L if we use this, we get true, which sort of highlights the difference. Um, the reason for this is because um, of the way PHP interprets things sort of internally. Um, with this or in here, um, PHP will interpret this as equals to, um, yeah, equals to with brackets, false. Um, or true, sort of the whole thing in brackets as well. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. It'll do this bit first and then assign it to this variable. Whereas if you use the or operator, PHP will interpret that as um, basically moving this bracket. So it'll interpret it as that. Well, more this really. So it will. Um, assign the variable to f as false and then or it with true. So that's why they're not the same basically and I've gone on it's quite an advanced topic there so sorry about that. Um, okay so back to if statements. Say if we have, well, let's define two variables a equal to true and b equal to false. So say um, if you had the if statement if a go true, this would output um, this should output true because a is true and it does. Um, you can also check if a condition is not true. Basically, this checks this against true. It's similar. It's sort of similar to true like that, but you can check it against false by either doing equals false. 
for using a exclamation mark, which sort of is the not operator, so we don't get any output. Um, yeah, basically having that in the if statement will check it against false. It'll check if this this statement is not true. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Um, personally, I don't really use that very often. I prefer to do false. Oh, I should uh, quickly point out the difference between the comparison operator, this one, and this. Um, three equal signs checks the type as well. Two only checks the value. So, for example, say okay. Let's say if I just echo true. Go back to our page. You see, we get one. Um, but how about if I do bar dump? Oh god, sorry about this. Right. How about if I do var dump true equals one? See we get true because true is equal to one. As long as you don't compare the type. This is a boole boolean boolean, however you want to say it. Bool. Uh, and this is an integer. But if we also compare the type, so we get bool false. Um because yeah, um this three also compares type. You can do the same thing with strings. Say if I had a string like that, so we get bool true, because that is equal to that if you do type conversion. But if you have three, you get false. So that's the difference between those. Um, you can chain a lot of if statements together using the else if syntax. Um, oh, actually, if I mentioned else statements, yeah, I don't think I have. If So say if you had if true equal to one, let's just say echo true else echo false so say um, the else statement basically will this block here will run if this block doesn't more or less um, so if I just reload that you see we get true if I add the extra one of those we get false which means that this condition has come out as false meaning this block here runs um, you can add more if statements using else if for example one equal to two um, so if this condition passes, if this condition comes out as true, this block will execute. If not, it'll check this next condition. If that comes out as true, it'll execute this, else it'll just do nothing. Um, at the end, you can add an else, like so. Um, echo else. Uh, let's just say one, two, for condition one and condition two. If I reload this, you see we get the else block, because this condition and this condition are not true. Um, but say if I added another else if one equal to one, whoops, uh, I'll call that three, and else echo else. Ooh. Okay, so if I reload this, you see we get three because this condition is true. So we've checked this, it's come out as false, so we haven't done this. We've gone to here, checked that, come out as false, we haven't done this gone to here, checked this, whoops, checked this, has come out as true, meaning we execute this, and then we don't go any further. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for logic. Oh no, one more thing, um, the ternary operator is sort of a shorthand syntax. Um, say you had the condition if, let's, do, let's just define quickly, define two variables, a equal to 10, and b equal to 12. Um, say you wanted to define the new ve um I said 12 didn't I 12 say you wanted to define the new variable var um, as uh, either true or false depending on if a was equal to b you could do this using this sort of system a equals to b else uh, so if a is equal to b, we want to define var as true. Otherwise, define var uh, as false. I just add a var dump var here uh, and go back to our page. Hit reload. You see, we get a false because a is not equal to b, so it's defining this. But we can make this shorter um, using the ternary operator which is done like so var equals condition 
which is a equals b and then what you want it to return on tr uh, when that condition is met which in this case is true and then what you want it to return um, when the condition is not met which in our case is false uh, basically if you, you can think of this sort of like a function this whole thing so it checks this condition and then it'll, it'll return this value so you can sort of echo it like you could do that just like you would with a function no yeah you could echo it like that or you can assign it to a variable or you can use it in the you can use a, a ternary operator in the list of parameters for a function which you can't do with an if statement uh, so yeah that's that's that there's a, there's a slight there's another if I just reload this page you see you'll still get bool false um, but make them equal reload it you see we get true so that's just showing that that's worked there is a slightly shorter version of this um, that doesn't involve one of these I've forgotten which one um, but yeah I it's introduced in PHP 5.3 it's not widely supported and to be honest this is short enough so I don't really use it um, so yeah I think that's as much as I'm going to talk about logic for um, oh there are some more advanced uh, sort of operators some binary type things but I'm not going to go, in, going to go into those at the moment so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and hopefully this was useful in some way